Hey guys, unfortunately the stabilizer on the new GoPro Hero 6 isn't as good as we thought so the footage is a bit messed up. Fortunately we had a second camera running so we tried to make something from it because we didn't want to keep this from you. Enjoy it. Okay guys, so welcome at the Autobahn. Welcome in the most powerful car we've ever driven and the fastest car, the fastest Mercedes on the quarter mile in the world. So, let me start with a disclaimer because it is wet outside and you have seen those tires. And we are at the Autobahn, but there seems to be more rain coming. So, I'm going to try and find some dry bits of Autobahn and see how much grip I actually have. So sort of feeling it out and uh, you know trying my best to give you some great footage. So let's switch to Sport Plus. Oh we are already in Sport Plus. Turbo with two Garrett GTX 3076 Gen 2 turbos with race fuel setup 1200 horsepower with race fuel ECU and 116 octane fuel. So this is still way too wet. These are genuine semi-slick tires, Toyo tires, and they are just not made for this kind of weather. Unfortunately, this car is going back to Dubai very soon, so this is sort of the last opportunity we have to drive it. Those turbo whistles. So awesome. Oh my god, this is this thing has such a soul. This is insane. Oh, it's so far. Oh, it's so. Oh, it's insane. Seriously. Holy crap. Too busy here as well, unfortunately. 
but it is getting drier, so let's just keep going and hope for the best. Because it, it has the race fuel ECU and the, the race fuel in it, it's much more aggressive because we drove it yesterday as well with the regular ECU. But this is just wow, it's it's overwhelming, I have to say. It is, but it's not scary or anything, it's just it's just so exhilarating. So this car actually does uh, the quarter mile, as I said it's the quickest, the fastest C-Class in the world. It does the quarter mile in uh, 9.5 seconds, which is ridiculous. It's, uh, let, let, me, let me illustrate you, let me illustrate uh, some perspective, because that might not say that much to all of you. The Dodge. Demon, which is purpose built for the drag strip with 800 horsepower or something, does it in 9.6. That's actually, I think, the fastest car on the quarter mile production car. So, this is a tenth quicker. So, after that, you get stuff like uh, the Veyron Supersport, McLaren P1, uh, 918 Spider, Porsche. Uh, so cars like those and this is this is just ridiculous it also ha used to have the record for the 800 meters so half a mile uh, but they improved on that record the, the European record uh, with their own other car so uh, the C-Class we drove a couple of years ago that one now has the same setup as this I think feels like it's possessed by some dark magic thing. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is ridiculous. How I wish it would have been dry and empty here. So the top speed should be around 370 kilometers an hour, theoretically. Let's try again. As you can see, it's a bit drier on this side, it seems, but it's still 120 kilometers an hour here, so just waiting. So, 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in this, uh, under perfect conditions, should be able in 2.2 seconds. We timed uh, a run yesterday from 0 to 200 in about 6.8 seconds which is already crazy but it can go much much faster than that the numbers on this thing are just staggering and you know before before we got here i thought well a black series why would you take a black series a car that's so so rare and you know only about a hundred of these were built why would you take a car that's so rare and build it into this? Why not take a regular C63? Well, I've sort of come around on that because I think that the the, the, the exterior, the, the looks of this car, the, the muscly outside with those arches, those fenders, which are just so wide and that spoiler on the back and that hood and it just fits this car really, really well. So. I think it's such a cool car. I think it's the coolest car we've ever driven, by far. So a standard Black Series 
as you probably know, has the 6.2 liter V8 with 517 horsepower. And this now has the 5.8 liter. So uh, it, used to, it started out as a 5.5 liter. They enlarged the capacity. So it now is a 5.8 liter with two turbos with around 1200 horsepower on race fuel. So more than double the horsepower. Okay, so there's the end of the 120 km an hour part. It's quite dry here. Okay, so watch this golf that's in front of me. Afterburner or something, you just you're at like 80%, 90% throttle, and then when you press it all the way down, it just gives you an extra boost and throws you even further back in your seat. system as I said uh, which is <laughs> which you really need um, but I'm really impressed by the way this car handles itself because it it just it's so explosive but it seems like the, the explosivity is contained if that makes any sense it's like yes it, it tries to go every direction when you floor it and you feel that it's moving you feel that it's twisting but it still goes straight and it doesn't do anything you don't expect well except for maybe in the rain when it's really really wet with these tires but now on this dry sort of dry road it's really not that bad really impressive they also changed the ratio from the rear differential so it has shorter ratios for better acceleration uh, they upgraded the clutch, of course, to be able to handle this kind of power. Oh, Jesus. Those sounds are just amazing. I really, really love them. If these people would just get out of the way and let, you, let me just have one nice run. Just one, guys. Come on. thing is it will it will catch you off guard thinking oh this is my my space and then it just it just gets there in like two seconds so we are back at GAD Motors here and uh, well that was a bit disappointing too much traffic bad weather uh, yeah it just wasn't in the cards today so I hope you still enjoyed it and I'm going to do <laughs> I'm going to do a lap around the car right now but first let me show you this insane Lamborghini Aventador V12 bi-turbo by GAD Motors GAD motors 
So they are going to record a, a little teaser for us. So click up here to check out the teaser. That's just insane. Okay, so the Black Series, well, it looks staggeringly gorgeous to begin with because you have all those carbon fiber bits, those winglets, uh, the bonnet as well. This is Black Series, this is GAD. Uh, so these are really cool. I think that looks so, so cool. It has OZ Super Forgiata wheels, OZ Racing, uh, forged 19 inch wheels with, as I said, those Toyo tires. Uh, Proxess R888, so basically a semi slick tire. Uh, these gorgeous arche arches. It just gives the car such a muscular look. Carbon fiber wing as well. It has a, a custom exhaust system, so practically straight but with four little silencers, but the sound is ridiculous as you've heard. And well, carbon ceramic brakes as well as I said. So GAD also have done the interior. So we have these Recaro seats, all leather and Alcantara with this diamond stitching. Really beautiful. They are quite firm, but they are really, really great seats. Very snug. Uh, even this is all leather. Everything underneath there, Alcantara on the dash, Alcantara steering wheel for those sweaty hand moments. And a full cage in the back in red, which is also very cool. With again, that Alcantara and leather by GAD Motors in the back. So let's start it up. So that's the sound of a monster. Really, <laughs> this car is so insane. I love it so much. Okay, so one more thing. I had to move it because of the truck. Let's open this one. Open the mouth of the monster. So 5.8 liters V8 by turbo by GAD by GAD motors with different air intake, different intercoolers, different cooling, different everything. It's just a completely different engine, but it's a fire breathing monster. <laughs> so cool. So I hope you enjoyed this one. You can subscribe by clicking on the icon in the bottom right corner and you can check out our watches at ignitioncollection.com. Thanks guys. Bye.